Hi everybody, I'm Imge from Kayla and today's video is going to be all about how to create visually appealing conference pages that will really catch your readers' attention and with that boost engagement and productivity within your teams. I will start with a few tips and tricks that you should consider while creating these pages and then our product owner Martin will take over and he will demonstrate you how to get started by using our apps Macrosuite and ContentVis. So let's start with some facts. Research shows that 90% of information transmitted to the brain is visual and also that visuals are processed up to 600 times faster than language. So considering this, we need to rethink the way we transfer information and start displaying content optimized for online reading by adding more visual elements to our conference pages. So how do we do that? Well, the first tip is to let your conference pages breathe, which means that you shouldn't stress your reader with an overwhelming amount of text since we are mostly skimming text rather than really reading it. That's why it is important to create cleaner and more minimalistic pages to get our point across. In this design style guide example, we use cards to add white spaces. Tip number two. So even with white spaces, your pages can still look very overwhelming and chaotic. Nobody wants to see messy HTML links or long paragraphs of text. So try to use macros that help you hide the chaos. In this example, we work with tabs in order to display paragraphs that are part of the same topic. And then we also added a customized button instead of an ugly HTML link. Tip number three. So when we talk about visually appealing pages, obviously color plays an important role. So try to add a pop of color by using different backgrounds, banners, cards or icons, or play with different header types and font sizes. This will help you break up text, highlight important information, so your reader can focus better. Let's move on to the next tip. So as our brain processes visuals best and also retains information longer, we need to benefit from charts, infographics, org charts and so on, especially when it comes to communicate more complex information. So that's what we did here. We used an org chart as part of an employee onboarding, so the new employee gets a better overview. So as you can see, your conference pages can have both beauty and brains. And now Martin will take over and he will show you our apps in action. Thank you Inge for the great presentation. My name is Martin and I'm CEO of Kayla. Today, I'm going to present you how you can create Confluence dashboard use case with ContentWiz and Microsoft apps. Let's start. The first and the most important part is to enable the Confluence dashboard and select the page you want to use. Go to Settings, Further Configuration, click on Edit and select the Space Overview page you will adapt for the use case. Please take care that the page is visible for all Confluence users. This is our Confluence dashboard. Header with the page builder macro, company news and recent blogs with content quiz, quick links and announcements from Microsoft, locations, YouTube videos, important spaces, and more. I will open the edit mode to show you the page structure and macros I have used. I'm starting with Page Builder, a unique content formatting solution for Confluence. Left is a Lottie animation, a popular third party animation provider. I will just adapt the animation size and continue with the title and text macro on the right side. The simple and easy to use macro configuration allows you to create powerful sections and make your Confluence pages more engaging and beautiful. The company news section is built with the Content Twist Blocks feature. If you use the Confluence Block feature in your company, our app will help you to make it more visible and attractive. I always prefer the dynamic option because I don't need to edit the page always when someone publishes a new blog. The view feature helps to create a design that suits the conference layout and spaces, labels and contributors filters to target the topic and blogs I want to show. I will select the carousel view and save the configuration. The recent blogs section is the same content with feature but with a different set of filters and different view. I can also decide how many entries I want to see and how I can show more. If I want to show particular blocks without the automatic update, I should select the manual selection and choose blocks from the picker. It is not possible to manually sort the entries, but ContentWiz offers this sort by creation and notification date.
Quick links is a very important component if you want to build an engaging and productive dashboard. You can find something in our card templates, but I have used the card type icon and design style Tokyo. You can definitely find something that fits your use case with our different design styles. You can also link the important apps like HubSpot, Figma and Adobe because their logos are available as icons in the icon picker on the right side. You can see the HubSpot example. Announcements are our latest released macro. We are using it to promote something important within the company or announce team events, webinars or trainings. In the left side configuration, you can change the announcement view, select the design style, enable or disable some layout structure elements and align the content inside the card. We have five different styles, announcements, webinar, news, team events, and events. The layout structure allows you to enable or disable different announcement elements. I have enabled the date and time, and I'm going to use the native Atlassian picker to change it. In the view mode, Confluence users can accept the invitation and confirm that they are coming to our annual event. Our location section is the card type images. If you want to have the image, be sure that you check all design styles because each is created with a different inspiration. It is also possible to adapt the image size. You probably know that you can embed the YouTube video with the native Confluence feature, but I have decided to use Page Builder because it allows me to use some advanced options like size, autoplay, mute, rounded corners. If you want to add a new video, it is simple. Just drag and drop the YouTube icon and paste the link from YouTube. I have used the panel to highlight some important information near the YouTube video. It is important to say that you can show other Microsoft macros inside the panel with the macro and macro feature. The different panel design styles allow you to extend the native Atlassian feature set. It is always a benefit for Confluence users to highlight the most important spaces. Just select the spaces, change the layout and reorder it to build the best internal Quick Links feature. Of course, only with Content Wiz. And my latest feature for today. I'll just open the button configuration because it is our most used Microsoft macro. If you added the existing button, the template speaker won't open but you can make the changes and save them to library. I will explain this feature in one of our next tutorials. I'm going to save the configuration and publish the page. This is our powerful Confluence dashboard. See you next time. Great, thanks Martin. We hope you enjoyed watching. In case you want to learn more about our apps, just book a free demo session with us. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.